The video games industry is one of the most innovative and fastest growing <laughs> industries in the world. The men and women of this industry work tirelessly to provide entertainment for the masses. And some of these provide the music. Music that we love. Music that we listen to when we're enjoying ourselves playing those video games. With video games. Music that we love. Music that we listen to when we're enjoying ourselves listening to video games. With video games. Do we even know who these people are? No. Would video games be the same without them? No. What you are about to hear. Good afternoon and welcome everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, it's afternoon somewhere. Oh. Welcome to another episode of The Average Giants. It's beer o'clock somewhere. <laughs> what are we playing tonight, Giant? We are playing the best game in the history of the universe. Our original game <laughs> yeah. that we ever did on the show. The first and the best. With our good friend, Bob Saunders, we'll be playing Approaching Infinity. How's it going tonight, Bob? Hey, great. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey. Wow, so, um, tell us a little, about, tell us tell a little us bit about the game. Wait, wait, wait. I've never played it before. Really so. quickly. Who are you? Oh, I didn't interest Wait, you. which question? The game. Let's do the game. Yeah, do the game. What is Approaching <laughs> Infinity? <laughs> um, it's a space roguelike that goes on forever, unless you don't want it to, and then you can <laughs> do some quests and win and be done with it. But you won't want to do that. You'll or, want to play forever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or if you're like me, uh, you're doing really good, and then you just walk into some space amoeba and die. By really you good, got, you, you got mean... killed by a space amoeba? That's embarrassing. Yeah, I walked. There was this big oh. like, cluster of space amoeba. Actually, I remember that. Yeah. And you, I'm just like, I'm gonna go through it. Oh no! Everything. <laughs> by doing really good, he means he was killed by an amoeba. Space amoeba. <laughs> it's much worse. Yeah. Mm. That's different. <laughs> At least I didn't get space dysentery. Space dysentery. <laughs> so, um, we were chatting a little bit about the, this before, Bob, because I know the game launched in December, which is amazing. Congratulations. Thank uh, you. We've <laughs> had you on the show, I think this is the fourth time. I couldn't remember if it was the third or fourth time, but I remember the original show Giant played, then I played one time, and then I remember you playing another time. No, it wasn't. Is this just, the third time? This will be the third time. Okay. <laughs> so I get to hog it. <laughs> it's okay. I uh, technically spent way more time than you. The very first time we played this game, I th because it was sort of the pilot episode of uh, The Average Giants. It was. I really had no idea what I was doing, and neither did any of us. So I ended up playing for uh, two hours, 43 minutes. Yep. Before we all were just like, okay, we're done with this. <laughs> <laughs> I need to sleep. Um, so, wow, this is already really different. Uh, do you mind telling us a little bit about what's changed between the last beta that, well, the la between beta and launch, Bob? Well, one of the big things is we, we made your character actually be a character in the game. You are the captain, your captain has oh, like, cool. he, he has a class and a skill and you can level him up. You know, when I first made this game, there was no like you were you were flying the ship and you were controlling the away team and they called you captain, but there was no actual representation of you in the game. And somebody pointed that out to me, which to me I never even cared. It was just like this is awesome, let's keep doing it. But now you're actually a person with well, with skills and you can go out and help or die. But uh, huh. that's one of the big things. There's a lot of little graphical improvements. Mm -hmm. um, you actually have a soundtrack now. I, I, yeah. I hear. It's spacey. I yep. like the space spacey. soundtrack. It's always yeah, good. People are really into it. It's really, <laughs> it's really being received well. The soundtrack. What we always I say. Wish it was it, longer. Yeah. What we always say mm -hmm. when it comes to soundtracks is that as long as uh, it's an immersive wow. soundtrack that doesn't overshadow the game, then it's perfect. Hmm. And so far, I'm liking what I'm hearing. So, we have six freaking classes to choose from. Choose the one that kills the most stuff. <laughs> and they've got, like, between <laughs> eight to ten specializations. But some of them, like this one, if we were became a, a forensic science officer, it says extra extrapolate from clues. What exactly does that translate to in the game? 
and that that's not a very good skill to choose up front. <laughs> but, but what it does? <laughs> oh, I'll go with something with damage. But yeah, <laughs> there's, yeah, really. There's what I always choose is engineering and the guy that heals your ship all the time because you know I take a lot of damage. But the the forensics, the clues. You can find clues to these special temples in space, and uh, that's where you find these powerful artifacts. And so, like, that helps you find those temples faster. That's what that's for. That's cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be a security chief um, and a tactical captain, because the away team is where I always get my butt kicked. So giving them extra hit points and damage, I think, is going to be um, great which for which class or which uh, captain class is most uh, closely resembling Michael Bay? <laughs> More exposed. Lots and lots of explosions. Isn't he a director? Yeah, <laughs> but oh. he, he makes okay. the explosions Dude, happen. Don't you, don't you want Kirk? Come on. Yeah, usually, usually. No. <laughs> <laughs> he wants. Yes, Nick wants to learn pause acting and uh, shaking of his. Um, and how to get it on with alien women. And green alien chicks. Yeah. yeah okay. I like uh, the unlockable ships as well. There's quite a few that I'm looking at here, which is cool. Which we we did not see that many choices in ships when we had this last We had a choice show. of, I think, three ships. Were three. Last time yeah, I think it was three. Three or four ships. Good and you either had armor, the, no the all around, you had the one that did lot that had lots of weapons but little cargo room, and then you had like the giant cargo one. But I think we'll probably go with the Light Explorer again. Oh, but two weapons on the Scout. <laughs> nope. One weapon, good shield, good sensors, no armor. Large crew and supplies, many device slots. We're going to do that one. And remember, you can always purchase more ship or better ships down the road. Yes. Would you like to play a short tutorial to familiarize yourself with the controls? We are going to do that because I just kind of want to watch it. Permadeath means... What? Yeah... You can turn off the permadeath? What is this, Bob? You sure can. How somewhere, dare you? Somewhere near the end of the beta, <laughs> really? I finally cracked. I said, people are, some people are turned off so much by permadeath that they might not be into the game. So I said, you know what? Let's make it a choice. And you can turn it off, but there's, there's like penalties for, for turning it off. Like you oh. don't get achievements and you can't use a pay it forward system. Yeah. But still, it's like designed for permadeath. But if you just want to freaking go out and see the whole universe, you can do it. Interesting. So, we're getting in the game screen here, and um, our ship is in the top left there. We're doing this short tutorial just to show everybody kind of what the game's all about. I was about to say, that looks very weird. <laughs> Move to them and bump into a mine. Boop! 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 Oh, I want more stuff. And then, of course, as you yeah. can see in the, the, the bottom of the screen, it tells you all the things that are happening. Yes. Little message window. Spocker mm -hmm. says I might have been one of those candy asses. <laughs> That's actually it's an interesting choice because um, I mean th there are so many schools of thought when it comes to hey, permadeath. Spocker. <sighs> Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say that it's it's good to give the choice of permadeath in there. I like the fact that if you do have permadeath, that you get bonuses in the game like the achievements and the pay it forward system. So even if you have permadeath, you have a system in there that you don't just start from scratch, which is nice. Um, that being said, I think with permadeath, I'm never going to get anywhere. <laughs> but I'm still going to play. You're going to get, well, okay, last time we played, you, what, you had an hour? We did this, we had an hour? Yeah, and I think I got 13 sectors. No, I think, oh yeah, because I, I made it, it to, 13. I think, sector 12. You were trying to beat me for sectors, but yeah. <laughs> but you also beat me for killing all of your, uh, your crews. I think you killed almost double the amount of crew that I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dark areas of the map gives you data. Certain devices can improve your data gathering. Oh, neat. Say it louder, man. Say it louder. Beyond, Beyond that yellow star is a touring planet. Go there and land. Press D for dock and space and start action. Okay. Oh, my God. You are my voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> and we're setting up sessions, man. <laughs> Everyone is going to hear that. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> that actually, um, one thing I wanted to talk about is um, obviously the game just launched and you've had the holiday to think this over, but what's next for Mr. Saunders? Um, uh, I'm First already working on, already working on, uh... If you're not allowed to tell us, don't yeah. know, man. A spin-off, 
an approaching Infinity spin-off. Oh. Something set in the same universe, but a totally different kind of game. Cool. Um, I have I have tons of ideas, but I just can't get myself away from this. Yeah. You know, right now we're even like I'm still updating. I'm gonna release a bug fix. You guys, you guys, I gave you a version which no one else has played before, and it's got updated stuff. It's got especially the tooltips are a lot better now in the version you're playing. But uh, yeah, man, I'm just I'm working on it. I'm. <laughs> I love it. Stop. I like. There's definitely the graphical updates, and I love. I'm loving the soundtrack. This is really nice, actually, having yeah. the soundtrack and the planets. But even when we were low on oxygen there, it started blinking, like, on the actual UI. That's a good thing, too, because I remember times where yeah. I was like, exploring, exploring, oh, I'm about to die. Yeah. <laughs> oh, snap. Or you could just be yeah, like... Yeah, more feedback. <laughs> Don't need people dying. Is there still the ability to, if you run out of oxygen, you attempt to take off your mask? Yep. Oh, oh, lord, yes. Diseases, yeah. man. <laughs> right? Space disease. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are just like, oh, we come in peace, blow him up! <laughs> That's good, because I have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, did you take the captain with the, the special, you know, landing party skills? Yes. Because you ought to put him on your away team. Oh, and I That know. way he can actually use them and he'll gain experience faster. Oh, we're going to go back, because we're just in the tutorial right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can survive, yay! Um, wow, there are a lot more. Oh, this is all the stuff that was it, uh, that was in the original um, options. Yep. But it wasn't that That's pretty awesome. looking at the time. Take advantage of playing your skills. Click the waiting button. Okay, so SC Kane, the bald ginger, balding ginger. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> So, I'll put him on the away team. That's a stupid thing. So if I dock back on this planet, then they you have, have extra oh, yeah. people. I have extra life and I do more damage. You can rename them too. If you click on the name, you can rename them. Oh, cool. You can rename your ship if you want to, but uh... Won't be the there you go. Now he will... He will kick butt for you. Sweet. His real name is Spudford Cuddlebinker. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I, I told you yeah, you forgot to I introduce totally us. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, I'm taking poison damage. Oh, God. Gotta get back to the ship. Run right away, Russ. You have to take your mask off. Huh, 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 huh. Oh, we're good. You're okay? Yeah, okay, but good. I'm poisoned, so, you know. We'll see Space how that poison? Goes. Space poison. Oh, good. What are you about pirates? Space Yay, pirates. pirates. Him. Some components have cooldowns. Yeah. So have you changed the controls at all? Or is it still the um, the number pad or uh, mouse radiation mode? Yeah, controls are pretty much the same. For a while, I was, uh, you know, I had set a Kickstarter uh, stretch goal of using an Xbox controller, and that oh. was, you know, that turned out kind of bad, so I took it out. Um, but everything else I got in there, but the Xbox controller just couldn't really, couldn't really make it work with the, you know, control for menus and stuff. Just didn't, didn't seem right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, you know, and there's a help, help button somewhere, probably like F1, that tells you all the controls. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, there you go. Have you condensed the controls? I remember there being more. It's possible. It's hmm. supposed to be easy. Yeah, I know it's nice to control. <laughs> I couldn't imagine this with a with a uh, Xbox 360 controller, though. <laughs> You'd have to do a lot of button combos or something. Yeah. <laughs> it becomes a fighting game. <laughs> no, you actually have to play with two Xbox controllers at the same time. Oh God. They both have to be on your desk, and you have to like use your your thumb and pinkies for the uh, for the, the control sticks. My time is fun. It's more fun that way. Yeah. Completely. <laughs> no, you have to use a power glove. So, 
What? What? Well, why not? What? It's a power glove, man. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, what? What's wrong with the power glove, man? You're just not with it anymore. I don't know you things. anymore. How would you even... No, you know what? I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we're not having this conversation. <laughs> what, you don't want to go to the video game world championships with me? Oh, God. Feels so good to be so bad. <laughs> My head is in multiplayer. It would not last five moves there because every step is deadly. If you land, you'll probably lose your crew. You can land, but don't get out of your ship. Careful, Captain. You're assigning yourself to lead the away team. If you die, it's game over. It's more melting planet. The away team will take 55. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die in the tutorial. Come on. <laughs> I want to see what it looked like. It looks pretty. But yeah, we're just getting off. If I'd stepped off the ship, I would have died. Yeah, I need to need to put a cooldown on there so you can't take off for five moves. And then, <laughs> then you'll die. You dick. You remind me of the developers of Vanish now, who purposely just tried to troll us. <laughs> no, you should put in nightmare mode. Where there, there is it. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say where everything is that much more difficult, and you're just you're you're yeah. gonna die. There's no question. <laughs> oh, I already found the warp gate. Yeah. If you manage to win any one of the victories on hard difficulty. It unlocks a insane difficulty. Oh dang! Okay. That's okay. not documented anywhere. So <laughs> you heard it first. Yep. Yeah, so everybody that heard this, uh, you know what you need to do if the game isn't hard enough. Because unfortunately, <laughs> no matter how hard you make a game, don't shoot the tentacle. <laughs> I know. I didn't. I Why didn't would realize. You do that every time. I didn't realize. <laughs> Tell your friends. Run away. <laughs> Pew pew, Space America! <laughs> You're gonna insult some people there? <laughs> no, 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 no. Everybody, all the people here are Americans, not Americans. I'm loving the planets. Everything, it feels like you have, like, this is fully polished. So, uh, one thing I want to say. Now that it's launched, what uh, platforms is it available, or where is it available? How much is it, and how can we get this into everybody's hands? <laughs> How can we shove it into um, people's face? Let's see. PC and Mac. Oh, nice. Um, it's available from Shrapnel Games. That's uh, that's the one and only place you can get it. They're they're a publisher. They have exclusive rights to sell the game, um, which is a big story in itself. Um, <laughs> it is on sale right now. Oh, perfect. Thirty four ninety five. Cool. And with um, with the amount of content in this game, though, like that's exactly the price I would have expected you to put it at. Are you gonna die? Nope. You're gonna die. You should die. Uh, can we get a link, or do you want to find a link, Giant? Yes. I and so, what's the story? Can you tell us the story, Bob, of why they have the exclusive rights? Oh man, the story. The story of Shrapnel Games. Well, like, what I know from Shrapnel Games is this game called Space Empires 4. Um, it's like a 4X game, take over the universe. Came out like 10 years ago. And I spent hundreds of hours playing that game. That game was published by Shrapnel. So, like, oh. that's what I knew of them. And then uh, the guy who does the graphics for this game has worked with them in the past. And he said, well, hey, man, why don't you just, you know, show them the game and see what they say about it. And it turns out they liked it. And uh, I don't know, man, we went from there. You know, there was contract negotiation and Damn. all this all this crazy stuff. But like, I like to make games. I don't like to sell games. You know that you it was yeah. you guys that asked me for an elevator pitch, wasn't it? Like, yeah. You know how I responded to that? Like. I don't, I'm not a salesman in the very least. <laughs> and like, you know, they're, they're set up, they're established. They've been, you know, selling games for 15 years or something. Um, and like, they wanted to make it, they wanted to make it in a box. Like I'm holding my game in my hand right now with like this beautiful shiny blue cover and a big <laughs> uh, printed manual and DVD. Like 
I never thought that I would do that. I always wanted to, but like, you know, <laughs> it's amazing. That's so cool. That's what it I'm must be. It's like an, but I gotta say, it's like an old school dream, you know. Like today, the dream is to be on Steam, and like that's definitely in my future. But but I hit this old school dream, and, and I love it. It's gotta be a cool feeling too, being part of a publisher of a game that you loved to play before. Yeah. That was a big that was a big part of it, you know? I was just like, wow, you guys like you're gonna put me next to that that thing that I love? Like, yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Spasmodic pneumonia. Yeah, I got a disease. <laughs> Space disease. Good job. First planet. <laughs> GG. <laughs> oh, I'm I was gonna say that it's so weird to hear a game being sold in physical copy now. I mean, I wish we could show everybody because oh god, five members of the team already died. <laughs> I, I wish we could show everybody because we had Bob in uh, Skype video chat before, but it wasn't working with my OBS. But he has the physical copy of Approaching Infinity in his hands, and it blew my freaking mind. It's so cool. Why am I just leaving stuff behind me? I think I know why. Okay, I need a station. Crew is infected. Will I pay money so that my crew isn't infected? Eh, I guess my captain. That's a lot of money. Yeah, but I just made it. Well, oh, I guess you got a ton of money anyway. I still remember when you let me play, you gave me, what, a million credits or something like that? And I yeah, just, I gave you guys a whole lot of extra money. I burned through it so <laughs> I thought that fast. would be fun. You did, I was amazed. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'll just buy those ships. Oh, yeah, I can only use one at a time? Oh, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> boxes of boxes. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> There's actually a quest. Well, yeah, well, we'll let you find that out for yourselves. Oh, good. <clears throat> Spoiler alert. Defensive commencing missile. Man, that's a good ship for picking up a lot of loot. Yeah, seriously. I'm enjoying it. Sonic Sword. Oh, right, for the away team. I was trying to think how you fit the sword on the ship. My brain just went to Pacific Rim. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> just stick the sword on the front of the ship, I guess, and just ram it. No, it's for the away team, obviously. So, uh, between um, the last time we saw you and uh, now, has there been any weird bugs that you found that were more hilarious than anything? Mm. <laughs> I'll take a look at that beta forum. Like, uh, some crazy stuff has definitely happened, you know? Like, I, I try to fix one thing, and all of a sudden, something that's worked for, you know, six months is, is spitting out crazy stuff. I don't know a specific example, but but everything's interconnected in ways that I, you know, never expect. Even mm -hmm. though I wrote the whole whole thing myself, like <laughs> it's just changing one thing does crazy stuff elsewhere. That's usually the case. What was it? Um... I don't even know. There was somebody took 99 oh. bottles, of, bottles of beer and then turned it to 99 lines of code. And then it's like, uh, take one down, fix it around, and 150. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, I totally botched that into something else, too. But you get the idea. <laughs> how many songs are in the soundtrack now? Um... 18? Uh, 18. But none of them are very long. Like, uh, they're all kind of short little... You know, the, the soundtrack was designed around the different environments. Each track is named after, like, a type of planet or space station or something. And, like, in my opinion, they really fit the areas. And for a long time, I had it so that it was playing the songs, you know, for each area that you went into. But... Everything, everything changed so fast. You know, like you, you go in a station, you do your thing, you leave, and and so people weren't ever hearing the whole tracks, and so oh, I just yeah. kind of 
made it play the whole way through. I found an order that they sounded good, and, and but but you know, people are more people are saying, you know, I want to hear the music that fits the planets because, you know, I don't know because it really does fit the planets, and so maybe we'll try that and we'll change yeah. it. That being said, because I mean, I have I've always been very much into like responding to people's feedback, mm -hmm. at least giving giving it a try. Totally, I I kind of like having the whole tracks, but that's just me too. I don't think you're gonna make it back. No, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Only got one disease so far. Come on, guys. I'm already doing better than I usually do. You pet the barbarous bunny, and you feel a little better. <laughs> oh yeah, but petting bunnies heals you. Did you know that? What? Now we do. <laughs> <laughs> because the more you know. Unless unless you play on hard difficulty. And then it doesn't. And then the bunnies breathe fire. Oh, oh good. That's always a, a definite plus, I think. Probably not though. Come here, bunny, I need you to make me feel better while I'm poisoned. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. Come back! You're not gonna kill it. Hmm. You're not gonna kill it. It's so ravenous. <laughs> I would never look kill at it. its teeth. <laughs> Bring out the grenade. <laughs> <laughs> and thou shalt love a sign, holy hand grenade. Yay, bunnies! This is lovely. I love all the additions. Are you still in the uh, the tutorial? No. Please. Sorry, I brain Sector one already? I brain forked I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, nice. You're doing a good job healing up there. Thank you. This bunny is so nice. I never expected fun. people to really use it. I thought it was just a funny, funny thing to do, but. That <laughs> saved me from the poison. Like, <laughs> people complaining that you have to bump a bunny a hundred times to get healed. I'm like, dude, like, <laughs> just fly off and come back later yeah yeah because <laughs> you don't we'll do have it. to use the bunny it's like a it's like a weird attraction it is a weird attraction <laughs> you're playing the game and i'm jamming to the music i am loving the soundtrack that's what i mean i'm enjoying listening to full tracks but maybe that's just me i i have a background in audio so that's <laughs> i may just be enjoying the tracks yeah, it's really awesome music. Mm hmm Was that... Make... I was going to ask who composed it. Um, Nathan Becker. Ectogemia. I'm trying to type it, but... Everything goes really slow. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yay, the away team survived! Good job. I know. I never have a good Ooh. survival. Ectogemia. Wow, you explored most of that planet, too. I know. Oh, now I found a loot planet. Hello, my beautiful friends. Runes yeah, so the next time we do this, it's probably going to be some other game. Yeah, I was just That's thinking that. How no, nice impossible. Is that? We were also <laughs> saying... <laughs> impossible! <laughs> We're also saying just before the show that, um, what's the exact date, John? Because we played Approaching Infinity for uh, the pilot episode, but how long ago was that? Uh, like that 50 was weeks? January 31st, 2014, because that was a Friday. That is nuts! So, yeah, this is, it's crazy. It's crazy! It's one of the things I love about this show, is being able to bring... I didn't even need the healing, I just wanted to pet a bunny. <laughs> oh, okay. But being able to bring people that we've had on the show back and be like, Look, I finished my game, what do you guys think? It's <laughs> awesome. Uh -huh. And then we still have guys that's like, Oh yeah, I worked on my game for ten years and it's, it'll be done eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, if uh, for all those game devs out there, if you're still working on your game, hopefully you haven't been working on it for ten years. Because <laughs> some have. Woo, that one was a little close. Oh, thank you, Bunny. So is it is it actually, with the right suit, at all possible to survive the uh, molten planet? Oh, absolutely, yes. And there's, there's, even a worse, there's even a worse planet than molten planets now. Oh, I put okay. in a harder one. 
Oh, good, good. good. <laughs> it's what? a dying planet with with lava and and acid and crumbling towers that fall down if you get near them. And... Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. So it's for the the advanced people that think they're too good for everything, like Killer Gucci. Yes. Oh, he was wondering and he was going to get his key for the game. <laughs> he messaged me a little while ago. I have to ask Seriously? Him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told him that you'll get it when you get it. <laughs> He's probably watching. Okay, that's news to me. Like, people, it, anybody out there listening, like, uh, if I owe you the game, you gotta let me know. Uh, <laughs> you know, the Kickstarter thing, they, uh, they send me messages and I, I know, like, <laughs> but if you got it some other way, remind me, please. Mm -hmm. I will get you. I will get you. Killer Peachy, I'm coming for you now. <laughs> so, and also, so, one thing so said, I had to take my helmet off, oh. and it said, oh, there are no diseases here. And I was like, yay! And then it was like, you contracted the red hives. I was like, that's a disease. It's a virus, it? not a disease. <sighs> <sighs> Maybe it's fungal. I need a differential. <laughs> what were you going to say about Jack? Peachy's going to... Get this game, he's like, yeah, I played for like 10 minutes, I beat it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm most difficult setting, I, I, I went to die. I made on my own setting. I conquered and I actually set up a my own base on the dying planet. You know, Freaking it's not <laughs> is, it, is there a harder version of the game? Because I think I need it. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like him. Is he, <laughs> is he on? No, I didn't see him on. <laughs> should text him. Oh, God. It's fun making fun Hi, of him, because he is actually incredibly good at games. He's also going to be guest hosting. He will be uh, my play. He will be taking my place um, during the two weeks that I'm going. Diane's taking a sabbatical. Two weeks? Yeah, yeah. I know. Man! This will be the most... What did you do to deserve this? <laughs> um, I haven't had a real vacation since June 2013. He was Mahatma Gandhi What's in a, a separate life. What's a real vacation? Life. Huh? What's a real vacation? Well, technically speaking... That's a that? year ago! That's not bad! I haven't had a vacation since, like, 2011! A year and a half, thank you. Go fuck yourself. And besides that, <laughs> I spent eight days in a car. Uh, I drove from... That sounds like an interesting story. I, I drove from our uh, hometown of Calgary, Alberta. <laughs> Calgary. Down to um, hey. Flagstaff, Arizona. Oh, jerk. Wow. Over to uh, Jerome. Spent uh, well. Spent the night in Cottonwood. Went to Jerome, Arizona. Um, ate some barbecue. Drank some wine. Visited a ghost town. Then we drove to uh, Santa Monica, California. I picked up a hood for my car. Then we drove to. Um, Went through Santa Cruz, San Jose, saw the Winchester Mystery Mansion. Uh, went up the uh, coastal highway, drove through a tree. <laughs> Made it up to Portland. Uh, went and saw the uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, which was so stupid. Because Believe it or not, it, it looks like they, <laughs> they built, it looks like they built it in 1995 when the show was still on, and then they're like, "Yeah, we don't have to worry about they that." Probably Nothing did. <laughs> because the place was dilapidated and things were... I drove through a tree. Oh, I still have hives. I probably should have gotten rid of... Ah, uh, whatever. The red it's hives? Fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. It's not doing that much damage. Uh, then I drew, yeah, drove to Portland, met up with a, uh, an old friend from a game that I met her on, and we played pinball. Same game that I met my wife on. Yep. We played pinball at what is called an adult arcade, where it's basically mm -hmm. a regular arcade, except they serve alcohol. They have those in Seattle, at PAX. I yeah. went to one when we were at PAX. Mm -hmm. it's then, crazy. then we went to the hipster region of Portland and ate some uh, tapas. Uh, stayed the night in, in her living room, because we were tired as balls and we didn't want to sleep in a Walmart parking lot. No pinball wizard was not there. <laughs> um, then we drove up to Kelowna, BC. I picked up two engines for my oh, for my project car, and drove back to Calgary. And in total, it was eight days and four thousand miles of driving. Okay, That's pretty amazing. Amazing. It was it was crazy, and it really wasn't much of a, a 
vacation because I spent the majority of it um, in front of a steering wheel. But it was fun, it was quite the experience. I've done some long trips. I've driven to California and back by myself. Where are you again? I, I'm on the East Coast, so oh, that's yeah. like... That's you know, a ways from me, yeah. Miles, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like anyway. <laughs> I like long trips. I, I mean, I, I don't think I can tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one of those. <laughs> Whatever stays in Atlantic City, yeah. Can I get in? So back to uh, yeah, Average it, Gamer Dying. Are we playing a game? What? <laughs> what? what? No, I'm just listening to you guys. Alright. <laughs> What's with all the red floating around your screen? How are screen? you doing there? I'm a little hurt. I have the hives. Um, but we've explored most of this planet, so now that I remember that I had hives, I'm gonna find the space station. Which is just down here, Yew! and we're gonna get rid of the said hives, which is gonna cost me five and a half grand. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. We have a very social crew. Small price to pay for exploration. I'm actually. Just remember, history was made by stupid people because I, I don't know if people it's... wouldn't even try. Hey, it's Mar. Neat looking game. Hi, Mar. Mar, this is Approaching Infinity, which was our original guest, Bob Saunders. We're so happy to have him back. His game is launched. And anybody that's interested, um, if we can toss that link again. Yeah, I got, I got the The links. game is on sale right now for Mac and PC. And we're going to link it, so make sure to hit that up and pick the game up. I got all the links. Now I'm going to sell all the things. You sell all the things and I have all the links. Okay, that sounds great. I'm not sure if it's because I've played it before, but I'm actually... I'm picking up on this game a lot quicker this time around. I'm sure it is. <laughs> and it's awesome. kind of want to steal sword, just because, you know, steal sword. So the biggest question that I have is, um, with all the people that you've seen play this, who... What's the furthest region anybody's gotten to? Now, do you mean, uh... You know, in a situation Sector. like this where I'm actually we're playing it live and stuff, or like uh, ever, you know, just ever, like if it was through. Just people have people have beat the game in several different ways. Like I got I got uh, a notification on Twitter one day that somebody beat what I consider to be like the hardest possible victory in the game. Like I put it in there to just basically be impossible and <laughs> a couple days ago he's like yeah i beat it thanks so uh what so killer pg did get his game copy then you're telling me. <laughs> it wasn't even him wow else, but, wow uh, don't tell him that <laughs> man i can't believe i disappointed somebody like that like i like i because because he's a he's a big supporter like he's always been really cool and i don't want to man yeah. Well, you go. It's an unfortunate reality that when it comes to uh, any game, no matter how difficult it may be, it's you're always going to have one person that's going to beat it regardless. Like uh, what is it? Um, Legend of Dungeon. We had we had them on a couple months ago, and they created uh, a, a version called Impossible Mode because people were complaining that their game that even the developers had only beat once. And they developed this impossible mode where basically it makes... Um, a, it, there's 26 levels of monsters. And I think the very first level you get level t at least level 15 monsters. So, yeah, it w it's ridiculously hard. And there were people that still beat it. So... <laughs> The developers couldn't even beat it. The they were saying, yeah. like, we've never beaten our game. But I've yeah. never beaten this game without cheating. <laughs> I don't have time, though. Like, yeah. I, just, I just work. I just program it. I know how that feels. That's I've been... The Steam sale happened, obviously, over Christmas. And uh, because of my work with Indie Game Magazine, I have not been able to play, like, 80% of the games I picked up. And the games I have played, I do not have the time to fully play them now, so it's just... Yeah, no, it is what it is. Haha! <laughs> Joke's on you. I have crippling credit card debt, so I couldn't buy any. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. 
What the? But what? seriously, I'm saving up to go to Costa Rica. A murderous lava blob. Hmm. Watch out, like he might throw you are on fire now. Good job. I'm fine. It's just a little fire. Those things are pretty bad. You yep. might be in trouble. Ouchie. Run away! Oh. The away team is on fire. Oh, one person died. Whatever. <laughs> you wore the red shirt. It, you are irrelevant. So, <laughs> I, I gave you various colors of shirt. Archmar says, sorry, giant. I only buy average games. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Does he mean he only buys games with, like, mixed reviews? <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. He only buys free-to-play games that cause <laughs> nasty microtransactions. There are some very good free. Oh, he games. only buys games for you, ever. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we still have to play. Fin he bought me Dark Souls. Oh yeah, well, you know ago. what? Somebody gifted me Bad Rats. Nice, but I got Dark Souls too from Mar as well, so we have to do both of them now. He only buys games that are listed on averages. Steam list. Well, you know. I do have my own wish list that has like seven games on it. Do you? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know that. Nobody ever goes to my. Use light speed drive. Oh, I can. <laughs> Outdated laser pistol. More damage. Adjacent so, are you like the strongest person ever yet? No. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, you doctor yet? <laughs> Call me when you're doctor. <laughs> Get him, <him> well. <laughs> oh, navigation begin in Sector 3's crash run. Plan to recover it. And we'll get money. I like You that. need to talk as if you're a computer. <clears throat> as if you're a spaceship computer. I think you need to give me uh, an example. Okay. Do you want me to be um, creepy European or regular? Oh, definitely creepy European. How could I say no after you dropped that bomb? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need something to read first, so we can get to that point. And that scanners. Sonic shotgun. Sorry, I can't do that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this game needs more talking computers. I will write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I will put that yeah, I need in voice the actors? <laughs> maybe to do list. Laser scanners and magnetic scanners. Oh, we're going to have two. Oh, there's a magnetic. Sonic knife? It doesn't work on wood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, we need sound effects. <laughs> hmm. One that does the um, the the you lose song from uh, the Price is Right. Bum, 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody needs. Everybody needs oh, that. Man, one. sick days when you were a kid. <laughs> yep. Watch the Price is Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but. My you, my grandma loved that. On show. a random tangent, have you seen Bob Barker lately? The Gruff Instigator. I don't think I like you, no. sir. Bob Barker looks like... Is he a robot? <clears throat> um, no, he looks like he uh, somebody performed taxidermy on him. <laughs> so, like, his eyes are... He's getting to the point where he's so old that his eyes are sinking in just a little bit, but he's still tan, so he's, like, beet red. Oh, God. <laughs> so, needless to say, it's somewhat disturbing, but, you know, Bob Barker... <laughs> Less so funny. like somebody no no <laughs> not like somebody spayed or neutered him like <laughs> so like he died wow. and then somebody replaced him with a puppet <laughs> that's made of his own skin. I think living a day in your head would be probably the scariest thing ever. That. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're the, the thing count went down. <laughs> that's what Five Nights at Five Nights at Freddy's is gonna be about. It's gonna have this the uh, <laughs> the golden Bob Barker. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> Five nights oh, hey, when you come back from this away mission, you ought to check and see if you can level up. Oh, you I might definitely. have got some some XP. He said referring to the game. 
That was one of those wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more yeah. moments. Oh, hello, slime. Go and ahead. by the way, when you have a job like mine, you get to think of some really weird things. I am alone 80% of the day, so... Knock, knock, who is there? Mirror, I am alone. <laughs> <laughs> ASDF. Ah. Mm -hmm. God, I love your planets. Yeah, you know, like you mentioned it earlier, and I finally made each type of planet look kind of like what it should be. I mean, you know, there's there's Earth-like planets with all the blue and green, and then there's frozen planets with all the snow, and then, you know, toxic and corrosive and all this crazy stuff all the way up to lava. Like, all that stuff was in there before, but there was something that I had never switched on, and so it was all just random. But oh. I finally I, I turned it on and made it right, and uh, it looks now amazing. things look like they should. Okay, four people died. <laughs> Uh, but we're... Our, the ship's alive. Okay. 53,000 credits, what Off can you space. buy? Tactical. Oh, yeah, we can definitely be promoted. Okay, do you want me to Is read it as a, a creepy European yep. computer? Yeah, give it to me straight, Hal. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, with Hal. <laughs> when an officer has enough XP, you can give them a new skill. Some skills are used in space, some on the away team. Some skills have multiple <laughs> levels. Each class has their own skill. An officer can learn up to six skills. Dr. Wiley? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Chris ship weapon. I'm damage. a man of three voices. So that's that's so cool. So we chose a class, and then those specializations we can level up. You can get more of them later on. And it like we can get security chief two. So we could keep boosting the away team stuff since that's the only place I ever seem to die. You can still purchase specialized team members, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Once you get, it's they like they start appearing after sector five. You have to get that far before you can hire new crew. But yeah, oh. dude, you're in sector two. Yeah, and it's been fifty minutes. I'm alive. Sector two, man. Oh my you have God. to get past sector thirteen. I am alive, to sir. Yourself. I'm alive. Redeem myself. Yeah, because you only got to Sector 13 before you died. You have to redeem yourself. How far did you get? Sector 12. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but you still, yeah. you're the one that's playing. Uh, no, I, I, I think that sentence is done now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's only just begun. Oh, cool. To live. Oh, that. Jesus. <laughs> what are you? Frozen planet. Neat, 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 neat. You're gonna freeze! Probably. There's lava on the frozen planet. And it's the purple Earth. That's possible. Oh, I see. See the 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 lava on the frozen planet. The lava has just well, just because it's a frozen it. planet doesn't mean that all of the planet is frozen. We could be like, oh, look at this frozen planet, and then they're like, sir, I'm detecting an anomaly near one of the poles, and we're like, what is it? And they're like, it's molten, and we're like, we should check that out. So then it'd be a, like a little molten bald spot on the planet. So it makes sense. See, see. Nope. Yeah. No, your techno babble just oh my went. Oh, it, it just went. <gasps> What'd you just do? Nothing. Nothing. That red paint oh, was the there already. Bunny died. No, he did No. <laughs> you are playing playing Kermit. Did you kill a bunny? Yeah. I killed a bunny. Are you playing Kermit? I, was, I am. Not cool, man. I definitely. I didn't mean to kill the bunny. I meant to pet the bunny, but then, you know, <laughs> pet the bunny, pull the trigger, it's so close Just together. remember, they're going to shoot flames at you now. <laughs> there really is a big bad bunny, and he breathes fire. Oh, God. I'm going to have death by bunny. And you deserve everything you get at this point. <laughs> there was one bunny! What if my fingers... That's all it takes, man. Bad oh, I wasn't even looking at my oxygen. Well, time for diseases or death. <laughs> Just walk around. Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, there's no oxygen. Oh, you are dying. Oh, you're. Oh. Are you gonna make it? Yeah. He made it. Eight hit points left. He made it. <laughs> he made it back with eight. 
I didn't have a disease, so that's a bonus. Yeah, but you had no oxygen. I found some chemicals. I think I prefer no oxygen to your, diseases. Your eyeballs were starting to pop out of your head like... Um, we were going all total recall on yeah, this? Yeah, we were going total recall. Even though that's also complete bullcrap, but we're, we're not going to mention that. I saw Vsauce on it, I'm sorry. <laughs> and you know Vsauce is always right. <laughs> oh dear. So has there been anything in the game that you were not able to put into the final product? That you wanted to. That you wanted to. Yeah, hmm. You know, it really was hard to know when to stop. That was something that having like a an organized beta test and somebody to actually report to that you know that actually helped to get the game out there because like I could just keep adding things and in fact you know I told him one day I'm like look man I'm never gonna say this is done you have to tell me you have to give me a date and I will meet that date and I will you know have everything in there and working and everything but I'm never gonna stop on my own <laughs> um, I you know I have a list of things that I want to put in it but I I'm pretty sure I got just about everything that I really wanted in the game, at least when I first, you know, conceived of it. I'm pretty sure everything's in there. That's good. That's amazing. And you don't feel like you overdid it either, which no. is also a very important thing. I love the amount of content in this game. No, like I, and like I I'm, I'm looking at, I have a notebook here. I've got 14 pages outlining different things that I still want to put in it. But they're, they're extra, you know, they're, they're, uh, you know, little little things that would be cool and extra content and stuff to find and interactions between different aliens and stuff. But like, as it is, it's already pretty, pretty huge, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And that's it's uh, that is a lot of people don't realize that's where DLC comes from. A lot of time is like, um, especially when there's say for a console game. There'll be a period when your developing team has finished, but they have to wait to get word back from the, the consoles or the publishing house or whoever, and they're just sitting there doing nothing, and it's like they make, you know, a little bit of extra content that they would love to add into the game, but they can't, obviously, because they've already sent the build, and then that's how you get, like, day one DLC for games like Mass Effect. <laughs> Shh, you're not supposed to say that, man! Shh, can't tell anybody that stuff. <laughs> yeah, but but like you say, man, look, when those when you are making a game and you're really into the game, you love it, like your brain never really stops coming up with all these other things, you know, yeah. that could really be in there and, and feature creep, you know? Like yep. completely. <laughs> you have to know when to stop, but there's also there's there's just more. I mean, uh, I was uh, reading a review that somebody wrote about the game and you know, he's like, eventually I thought that I wasn't going to see anything new, and and uh, I really don't want people to get to that point. I really want there always to be something somewhere that they haven't seen. Yeah, totally. Because that's, that's what this game is about to me, is just about exploration and going further and, and, and it's finding new stuff. It can be really hard to even to grasp your, like, put your head around that, too, where you've got content that long where it's like yeah I I've been playing this game for a hundred hours and I'm still coming to artifacts or planets that I haven't seen before or unlocking ships and stuff like that so it's really quite cool you gave me a nice interesting glimpse into how far this game can go where you gave me a, <clears throat> a version of the game that started me at sector 50 oh <laughs> yeah I remember that and I think I made it to what sector fifty three, and then was <laughs> yeah. just murdered. But it's like, yeah, that's you can go that far. You can go a lot farther than that. Yep. I've had I've had reports from people in sector like two hundred and fifty, three hundred. Wow. Um, it is it is very possible, and you you know the the equipment keeps getting better, and the enemies keep getting tougher. So. It's there, man. It's, mm -hmm. it's all out there. I mean, there's certain kinds of enemies that aren't even introduced until Sector 100. Oh, jeez. That's crazy. That gives you a lot of incentive to play, that's for sure. Yeah. But, like, but you know, 
right now you're in the early part of the game and you're just able to move one sector at a time or two sectors, but I mean you can get warp drive with, with ten sector range. Or, uh, you know, you can get shields with thousands of points and suits. You'll never worry about oxygen again once you get up to, you know, the higher sectors. Mm -hmm. You don't have to run back to the shuttle. And, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> that bunny was trying to kill me. <laughs> oh my god, a bunny's in my way. Oh, I guess I'm dead. Oh, that's what you sweet. Call we can the, find the Star Temple. That's what you call the Pokemon... Shrub uh, syndrome. <laughs> Funny. Oh, I think I just killed Bob. Yeah. Way to go, Giant. That's three developers in the last six months. <laughs> My words and bones! <laughs> what happened to three developers? Oh, well, Giant killed them. I officially killed three developers yeah, on for the show. saying something stupid. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm sorry, I'll repent on a death bit. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna die. That's what you get, man. Too many cooks spoil the broth. I don't know if I was supposed to use that. That doesn't either. even make sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh You're god, fine. Oh god. You got plenty. I think you should kind of leave. You know, the captain's on the away mission. You better not die. Yeah, I know. That's, That's you. a little scary. Hey! Jerk. Thanks. <laughs> Yay, we can warp again. Ow. Okay, so, here's a question. I have enough... Um... Oh, man, this one's tough. Sweet. I have enough... I found out where one of the temples are. Will it tell me where... Yeah, just open your quest log. It'll be in a oh, quest perfect. log. Perfect, perfect. Which is, like, the top first button. Star Temple. Oh, in Sector 4. How perfect does that line up? Zoop. Zoom, zoom. So would you say that, um, oh wow, I have a lot of cool stuff. Would you say during development with the Kickstarter and all the streaming and like that kind of stuff that you've had with your own community, um, did that help in the, the actual creation of the game? Like, was that how you pretty much play-tested, or um, was that kind of how you got the word out about the game, like when it was launching and all that? So much. Like, guys like you helped so much with this game. It's just unbelievable. Um, you know, I can still remember the day that I found a video of my game that I didn't know anyone had made. And I found, and, and it was, you know, back in pre-alpha it was with the original you know 16-bit graphics and just a tiny little bit of content but someone had made a video and I was and I was just amazed and uh, and that really pushed me forward and uh, your involvement has always been so like you know just so motivating and then the Kickstarter um, you know I guess I don't really want to talk about the money, but yeah. I will talk about the people. I will yeah. talk about, you know, the positive energy that I received from those people that, uh, you know, that, that liked the game, that had faith in either me or the idea, or, I mean, it's, it was just amazing. And then still, it, you know, when the game actually launched, and, you know, I'm sending out 400 emails to people because they backed the game and I got to give them their their share. And, like, but everybody's always just like, wow, thanks for an awesome game, Bob, and just everything else. It's just amazing. It, I, I would never have finished this game without the support, the emotional support of fans or whatever you want to call yourselves, just, like, people... <laughs> I think it's cool, like. Mm -hmm. So it's, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's our pleasure, obviously. Uh, it's something that I've I've loved about kind of the the streaming and the YouTubing scene is what a good relationship like we seem to have with game developers. And uh, it's 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 so nice and it's refreshing to see like games like this benefit 
from everybody else playing it and enjoying it and just making it more of a community ordeal for like both yourself and them. Ooh, can I plan that? Sorry. I'm, I'm just gonna say that I the the very first thing that I did when I saw this game was I said shut up and take my money and then I proceeded to take my wallet and throw it at my computer screen <laughs> for about ten minutes. You just kept picking up off the floor or <laughs> no, 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 I actually went to the to the bank. I got myself a bunch of uh, American one dollar bills. The exchange rate was really good at the time, like a pretty big stack. Then I went home, and then I just pretty big stack. <laughs> then I just um, sat in front of my screen and just started to make it rain. And I was hoping that eventually something would happen, but wow! Oh well, man, something did happen. Then I found something out that you had a Kickstarter oh. network that was so yeah. <laughs> That's always such a pleasure to see an awesome game like this actually, you know, get the Kickstarter that it needs and release and become this awesome, amazing, cool thing. Oh, I thought somebody else made a holy hand grenade joke. I was like, ah! <laughs> oh, it's giant. <laughs> As the above. I'm considering putting the holy hand grenade in there. I mean, you've got the bunnies. You've got yeah. the, sometimes they're killer bunnies. It's, <laughs> it's tempting. I don't know about the, the intellectual property. I don't know if it's copyright or whatever. But well, Worms had it. Worms Armageddon had the Holy Hand Grenade. True. So, I don't know what... I think the only thing that you can't use is the um, two halves of a coconut to make <laughs> horse clopping noises. I think that's it. No, I don't have... Everything else is fair game. Kind of a weird aside. There's a musical version of the Holy Grail um, in town like right now like this month like you and me after the show could go out and to a dinner theater of the holy grail oh my god <laughs> you're kind of neat <laughs> not gonna lie okay what do we got what do we got oh cause so i got mountain climbers i love little things like this i got mountain climbers at the last um space station oh yeah so now i can go climb mountains. mountains and it will really help you out yeah because you can see so much yeah lit up a lot a lot of that's one of the area. things that came out of the beta test the official beta test is like you know alright you can stand on mountains but that should really it should uh, improve your your sight range and I'm like hey I never thought of that thank you mm -hmm. that's you know so much has come from people saying things like people thinking of stuff that I'm not thinking and and it's in there I there's a lot of ideas from other people <clears throat> And I'm, I'm glad, cause like right there, just you go, Poof, and then I can see. <laughs> Explosion of light! And I want you to have a better suit. <laughs> yeah, we'll get one. We will get one. I've been taking it slow, I'm not gonna lie. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? 23, 22, 21. Oh, I'm not going to 17, 16 minutes of running. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, if, if uh, you could have a better suit or a better away team gun or a shield, or what kind of part would you like to have? I can give you a code to give you a part for... Oh. Give him a godly spacesuit. Okay, I'll let Giant choose. Because if you ask me, I'm just going to ask for something with damage. That's that's my shit. Well, you haven't been... But a I, godly guess, space I guess your gun is important, too. But you have this issue where you want to explore, but you're really cutting it close <laughs> for your oxygen and your deading. Well, yeah. This doesn't that make a better Star the Trek episode? decision has already been made. It's a suit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't have a bow tie. <laughs> Bow ties are cool. <laughs> the wrist. That's the me. bow tie gives me plus ten. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. The loot. Oh, so much loot. Can I? No, because I'm on the mountain, obviously. <laughs> I see a plant down there. Oh, I'm gonna get him with my pistol. <laughs> Ow! What was I doing? Are you crazy? Wow, that's doing nothing. It killed him. It took a lot. Why did it take so much? Because my I need to upgrade my gun. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 
Did uh, you do those sound effects yourself? <laughs> Most of them, yeah. Yeah, a program called uh, BFXR does uh, 8-bit sound effects. It just kind of like you set a bunch of little parameters and... Yeah. But hey, there, I just gave you a code. Go up into space and options, enter code, and that should give you a good spacesuit. <laughs> um... If you survive the planet. Yeah. Well, we can just... We'll, we'll just space here. Options. Have I heard this song yet? I, all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah. And Deep the code... The to the max. Oh, do, 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 do. Where is the code? Is it in Skype? Oh, I'm sorry. It's in the chat. It's in the hitbox chat. Oh! Everybody! Yay! If you have the game, there, you get yourself a spacesuit. Or is it a one-time thing? Well, it's, uh... It's for today, which is soon to be over. <laughs> so what you're saying is that if a person buys the game right now, they can oh. uh, get this code for a spacesuit. Absolutely. That's what I call a steal of a deal. <laughs> it's like... Uh, nice job. <laughs> code you entered was invalid. Uh-oh. <laughs> Try again and... Uh, Yep, got it. Yay! You received a surplus EVA suit. Ooh, surplus. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm starting to feel bad. Was it? <laughs> is it worth it? I hope it's better. Makes it so much worse. <laughs> now you have no oxygen and every move kills you. Yay! <laughs> um, but I'm trying to remember where to equip said special. That was bad, and I should feel bad. Oh, awaiting gear. Grade eight. Um. Oh my God! Help me out here. What how do, do I? Do? How do I equip? Install the little wrench. Install. Thing that's got? right. <laughs> Thank you. God. Jeez, don't you know anything about space? Corona shield. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of buttons. I know. Surplus EVA. Ooh! Lots of oxo jam! Well, we can finish this plan off real nice. Oops. Unless you get stuck in the water. And then you just like walk into lava and you're done. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is awesome. There, now you can do everything. So you should feel, you should feel good about that, right? Funny. Thank you, Bob! Oh, yeah? <laughs> So for any well, people that are new in the chat, uh, this is Approaching Affinity with Bob Saunders or Eyeball17, as he puts it. On Twitter. On the Twitter. And if you'd like the game, it's for PC and Mac. Um, and we're going to I got the link. I got them. I got the links. Me. Oh my god, I'm, I am jamming to this soundtrack. Okay, we're going to check out this toxic Jamming. planet. I think I might die. Jamming. Splying talks plenty. The enemy are waiting. Will take two damage every move. So, no. We have a quest. Dude, yeah, yeah. go to sector four. Go to sector four and get that artifact. Oh yeah, yeah let's do that. What time? Get money. Get space okay. money. Come so on. we have another quest in section three at fifteen eleven. Fifteen eleven. Fifteen eleven. Where is Panorama? Terran planet at 1511 in sector 3. Probably that one right there in the middle. Yeah. Most likely. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good job. That's yeah, some oh. smart thinking. Be careful. Be careful. You know, well, that's what I was going to tell you about. What you should do is that if you're going to put the holy hand grenade into this game, oh dear Lord. you should at least make a planet inhabited by a nice. bunny king. Oh. Bunny like, King. Yeah. Have like, like inhabited by all bunnies and then have like a giant like four by four bunny or four square bunny. No. That it's like a super boss or something, and then if you beat it you get the holy hand grenade. Or oh, can we make it back? I think so. Mm. Or if oh, you yeah. want to avoid any copyright, just make it holy awesome. as in like W H O L Y. Oh god. It'll be the holy hand grenade. <laughs> it's organically made. It is entirely a holy hand grenade. I, yeah. The holistic hand grenade. 
<laughs> oh, those are mountains. Oh, mountains. I thought that was volcanoes. It's a very natural handy oh, Made of all I natural I parts. Okay, fine. This is majestic <laughs> music right now. That's what that is. It's majestic. Uh, quite. Oh, loot! Okay, I think we already grabbed it, because there was a little red circular thing. So we should be good. That's this planet like explored. I have to survive. Yay! Have you cleared that entire area? Makes it explode better. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to turn into the bankers. Now if I remember tonight, I have to go back to that mm -hmm. sector to handle. Fleeting Infinity says, could you could just go the opposite direction and make it an unholy hand grenade? It's a hand grenade full of holes, makes it explode better with yeah, you can turn that question anywhere. You don't have to. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. good. <laughs> not anywhere. Space station. Yeah. Yay! By the way, I'm glad that this episode did not go as far off the rails as last one. We do have a tendency to do that. When last, last week we had uh, the game Windward, and we ended up doing uh, pirate voices talking about uh, the, the shipment of hot pants. Oh, yeah. And then talking about that. booty. <laughs> that was quite the... Uh, ridiculous, but it was funny. I need to go watch that. Officers are closed. Like, I need to go watch that show <laughs> just for that. I like booty. <laughs> Whoa, that's some good equipment. You gonna buy that? Yeah. <laughs> it's playing to do the whole time. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, use light speed drive. Range two. Ooh, you get to jump two Let's spaces instead of one. Electro hammer. Damage 56. But your speed is reduced. But damage 56. What's your, what's your damage currently? 18. Holy balls. Maybe. It's only 1800. You can buy a lot more stuff. Oh, yeah, I know. I could get the light speed drive, which has two range. Uh, you actually should, because it's all pluses, as you can see on the right. Right, because it uses less supplies and less cooldown. But do we really need to jump two sectors? It right might now? help. Get you further. Get you better loots. Or defensive fission torpedo. No, that's that has minuses, more minuses than pluses. No, stop it. Stop. Stop. What? Stop. stop. What? Stab. Okay, we're we'll getting rid of the stupid sword, and we have the awesome hammer. Awesome hammer all. Hammer oh awesome. Uh, excuse me, sir. I don't appreciate you chasing me. Can you still change the name of the ship? Oh yeah. Why haven't you changed yeah. the name of your ship yet? I'm too into being fun and awesome. That made sense. We're gonna find the temple. You can call your ship the awkward lightsaber. I could. Several gemstone mines recently gave out prices are high due to scarcity. <coughs> site. Sector seven is the hardest hit. So if we get a bunch of gems, take them to sector seven, then they will be extra mulas. Oh, I remember the that bad joke that we had with this game. What was it? Sector sixes. Oh. <laughs> for, thank you for smoking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Hey, I couldn't even see you, jerk. Sector six is actually the the main uh, the main quest is to find a pack of smokes and then smoke them <laughs> and then smoke them. and then tell everybody about how not bad smoking is. Oh boy. We are not in a good place. Uh, we might die. No. <gasps> we might not die. Oh, you are in need of something. Mm -mm. What did you do? Nothing. There was a guy. He was trying to kill me. There was a guy who was trying to kill you? Yeah. So, like, basically... Run away and hide. I'm trying, but I had to kill him first. There, hide near the space there was two guys. They love you. Yeah. Who would, who would go close to space me? Was That's retarded. That'd be a stupid, stupid thing to do. No, that's not good. Haha, I can't see me. Whoa! Gemstones! All the loots! 
Wow. Apparently that pirate killed a lot of stuff. Oh, that looks like a temple to me. So what's your absolute favorite thing in this, Bob? Oh my god. Mm. Insane Acolyte. Hello. He's flailing wildly at me. Oh. That was silly. Ouch. I don't even know. I don't know what my favorite thing is. Like, I just get... You know, when I'm testing features, I just start playing, and then I forget that I'm supposed to be doing stuff, and I just play. Like, <laughs> I love this game. Uh, <laughs> kind of problem you want to have. <laughs> it's the best way to be. Oh, it's, bad. it's good that you... It's good when developers still enjoy playing their games. Yeah. It means that they, it hasn't just turned into a work for them. It's still I their love. Still Ooh, their bay. That electro hammer is awesome. You disabled the red security fields. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember the last time I played this. I was allowed to go. There was one of these in every. Uh, There's a giant glowing bird. It looks like a space chicken. I killed him. It was mad. The big bad hyper chicken. You killed him. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. To kill him. Yeah. Schematic for engines and command order. Current fleet elements engaged. Gruff forces with a view to gain the latest intelligence regarding current ship technologies. Engineers to record and sample materials for research purposes. Medical officers to sample gruff specimens. That was not epic enough. I was just reading, man. Did I make a once upon a time <laughs> reference? Good. Joke's on you. I don't even know what that is. Uh, my wife watches that show. Oh, it's a show. Yeah. Here's something funny. I'm really good at references, and I haven't had TV. Ha 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 ha! You said it was really funny. <laughs> uh oh. I'm gonna go drink now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Joke's on you, Fleeting Infinity. I don't even know what the heck I, I said. Running shoes of obsession. Post a <laughs> screenshot on Twitter to eyeball. <laughs> I'm gonna take a screenshot. Screenshot! Woo! <laughs> Hashtag did it live. <laughs> Feroxianinian <laughs> artifacts are relics of great power. They cause unpredictable effects that are always on as long as you keep it. Most are good, some are bad. Artifacts may be sold to pawn shops and are often sought in radical or er, racial quests. Neat. Spoopy. Spoopy? Yeah. Shapoopy. <laughs> oh, you died. <laughs> he was wearing a red shirt. He deserved it. <laughs> Look how big this temple was. Sheesh. Like, I don't seriously. know why. The temples always remind me of the race from Fifth Element. The big guys. The big oh. guys. Aziz! More light! <laughs> oh, you. Only one person died. Yay! <laughs> what's what's wrong with me saying spoopy? <laughs> uh, so where can I see my artifacts? Oh, right here under artifacts. Artifacts. Running shoes of obsession. Can you do question some? marks? Yeah. Uh, how am I able to identify them, Bob? Well, some artifacts do stuff that you can tell like immediate, like some. You know, sometimes you can absorb nebulas, or uh, it'll oh. pick up stuff from far away. All of a sudden, you can walk through acid. <laughs> you don't know what they do uh, without, like, observation. Um, cool. But you can try, if you want to just guess, you can click <laughs> on it and try to identify it, and it'll give you choices, and you might be able to do it, but... It's best to kind of wait and see if you notice anything happening. Yeah. Failure has consequences. <laughs> Does the artifact have positive or negative effect? Interesting. I am... We're not going to play 20 questions <laughs> with this yet. We're going to try it out first, see what happens. Uh, I don't want to break my shoes. That would be so funny if you chose the wrong thing and your ship just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. It would be. We are laughing. 
Yeah, it never just you. kills you, but it can do some pretty bad things. Oh god, these guys. So many of them! Need more weapons! Whew! Oh, there's a the dock. Oh, there's a the dock. Okay. Okay. Phew. Sell all my data. Repair my hull, please, yes. Restock supplies. Hire a full crew. Oh, yeah, right, we need a full Modernities, we have a lot. Starship Outfitters. Light Arc Cannon. Ah, ask and ye shall receive. <laughs> and a used warp drive for a lot cheaper. See? See? Landing party can cross water, so we're going to grab that for sure. Which means we can't That's get this plasma screen. Dang. Oh, we can't buy any more. Let's say but I needed it's a plasma screen. Negative. It's negative, man. I needed a plasma screen. It's only negative. In my captain's you don't quarters. need anything like that. Oh, yeah. that's... Hmm? Never occurred to me. It's a kind of TV. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to be of help. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bug. Oh man, I just picked up a whole bunch. <clears throat> Water walkers, we'd like. Oh, you can on water or mountain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Magnetic deflector. Or kinetic deflector. What are you thinking of, man? What's your thoughts? What's your thoughts right now? On what you're doing? So that everybody can know. Uh, I'm trying to see which ones I need. So that I can go and sell the ones I don't need. Because I'm down on money now. I just spent like 50 grand. The running shoes of obsession are worth 70,000. We're not going to sell those. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Make some mad stacks. Yeah, I know. And then you twitch and press A1 too many times. Boop. Not going to happen. This is just still closing the sector. Okay, that's fine. Yay! Now we just need our shields to come back. Well, by come back, I mean get our new shields. We just tripled our amount of shields. Nice. Increase our damage, doubled our range damage for the landing party. Like, we are sitting pretty, sir. You about to murder some... Bunnies? Tentaculons? I mean... Hmm? You gonna fight some <laughs> tentaculons now? You gonna, you gonna shoot those guys? God, no. Nice, friendly guys that can make you some uh, good just deals? Just <laughs> that would be as dumb as flying into space amoebas. See, get it because we both died from those things. <laughs> Kill a hundred planet monsters. I'm getting all the achievements. It goes to your pay it forward. It's a meta artifact. You become obsessed with figuring out what it does, which is ultimately nothing. Twenty-five of selling million. it for a cool stack. <laughs> that would be funny. Narchmore says the prime directive are shooting everything till it's non violent <coughs> enough. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of prime directive. <laughs> Good. I am Kirk. I'm totally cool with Prime Directive. You just get to sit back and watch everybody blow each other up. It's all good. It's like... Slime? Sorry, this is Prime Directive. I'm not supposed to deal with anything. I'm just gonna go eat a burrito. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, right. I got that awesome hammer. Whew! That could have gotten hairy. But it didn't. Now that's what I call a sticky situation. Because they're blobs. And I assume they're sticky. What if they aren't sticky blobs though? What kind of blobs would they be? Oh, I got another data pad! Gelatinous? Oh, I'm dying from poison! Good job. I'm fine. See? I'm fine. You're good. You're fine. <laughs> and now we go back. The Prime Directive is more like a guideline than an actual rule. Uh, they could be jello blobs. Yeah. So I, I can use boots to walk on water if I want to right now, but I much prefer being able to go up in the mountains. Oh, they shot me. They're just tasteless and semi-solid. <laughs> they are the gelatinous blobs of Cosmo. Wait, that'd be pudding pops. Cosmo? Mostly. Cave entrance. Oh, but it's so far away. 
Oh, there's gonna be no. You are there. out of everything. Yep. Uh oh. Let's see if there's diseases. Is there. Is, I might die. Is there. Um. Oh, well, there's no diseases. Yeah, of course. Drooping Ooh. asthma. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. Yay! Contract three diseases. <laughs> I got three achievements. You got an achievement point. for that. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That was smart thinking. You are hurting You know what's not right? going to be smart thinking? Going to this cave, but I'm going to do it anyway. Do it if you're cool. Oh, right, because Can I know... Be safe. Yeah. I know I already have the disease here, so I'm not going to have any. <laughs> Anomalous oh, insects as wow. Congrats on that. <laughs> Congratulations, you're probably going to die. Ah, the subterranean sucker. Are you sure that's not me? <laughs> <laughs> you just want yourself dead! Yeah. Yay, I killed it. What's the poison? Your way, team is dying. Yay. You do not look too hot. Oh, yeah, we are. We're taking poison damage. Woo! If Kill you them. die, you will die. I know, I know. Living it on the edge. Ooh. Uh oh. By uh oh, I mean we're fine. <laughs> yeah, you still got plenty of oxygen. Oh, it's I have my helmet off. <laughs> yeah, you got plenty of oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> I do indeed, sir. Tell them what's behind door number five, Johnny. A brand new coffin. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this this disease though. Oh, plants are sprouting where well, that oozes once were. That's not good. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. <laughs> Hello, friendly station, who I'm going to infect with drooping asthma. That disease, though. I can't believe you survived that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If you catch enough should name my ship the Kobayashi Maru. Diseases. That's what I should name it. Yes. <laughs> Ar Archer Mar, what? Archer Mar? Yes, they do. If you catch two diseases at once, <laughs> it gets bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> your officers and it will it will kill your whole crew. Great. You that just become a disease based a organism, organism, sort of like the clickers. I went a little crazy on the whole disease thing. <laughs> really? I, I yeah, don't know. There's nothing wrong with that. I love the disease thing. thing. It turns out you're just a oh, mad nice. uh, a mad German scientist. That's how I'm going to picture Bob from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting and writing code going, Yes, this disease should morph. This will kill them. <laughs> this will kill them all. They told me I was crazy. <laughs> I don't need my experiments with this game. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now we do have O2? Oh, because I don't want to catch disease again, I guess. <laughs> Dang, now I'm running out. Ooh, we're getting this. Oh, you're totally gonna catch another disease. All officers receive experience. Oh, damn it, there's so much stuff in this cave. There, there, I'm done, I promise. <laughs> I can't believe you survived that means. Expect a patch soon. <laughs> <laughs> I think the same thing happened with Vanish. Because, like, we, we had a, a build when they were on the show. Uh, they made the build for the show. And then it's a, a, a procedurally done horror game that is well known for being difficult and I played it I was the first person to play the build and I beat it on the first try I swear to god they probably change it after that show eh? Uh, <laughs> I know that well it was it was still just a, a release candidate yeah so but I'm the, sure they were like well beat it on the first try no longer candidate. yeah that was the funniest part they're like oh so yeah we made it harder and then 22 minutes later you play, like is this the exit they're like yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Move over, <laughs> let me die. <laughs> and then I proceeded to take me another uh yeah, developer table flip. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that crashing sound was in the background when we were talking today. <laughs> well said. Well said. Uh we're gonna keep the nanostorms because I'm smart. Now we're gonna GTFO. 
Hmm. At least we didn't hear any gunshots. <laughs> there was. It used to be called three drunk men. Now it's called two drunk men. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so we don't know uh, where. In your random playings of your own game, uh, without cheating, of course. How? What? What's the further sector you've made it to? Or what is your favorite way to play it? Both of those. Questions. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Good thought. I don't know how far I ever make it without cheating. I, honestly, I always have to. I always have to test something. Um, so I don't know, but I pl <coughs> honestly I play on easy. Um, I play. I always take the assault scout because it has two weapons. Um, you know, I I don't know. Uh, I always get the same captain with the healing the ship. Oh, that's um, although I have started to play with my away team, like all the officers on the away team, because that's a really great way to level them up quick. Um, I, spoiler again, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a great strategy, though. <clears throat> Shh, dang it. But I have a hard time getting through the early sectors, like without just saying, you know, let me go, you know, let me get on with it, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man, okay. eventually, eventually it's going to be done, truly done, and I will just play it. Bob has a very special button on his keyboard, it's called the FDS button, so basically when he gets annoyed with being where he is, he just press the button, which stands for fuck this shit. <laughs> and it takes him either um, nerf, you know, makes him OP, or it uh, just takes him to wherever he wants. Yeah, I I do have those buttons. Yeah, <laughs> you need those buttons though. <laughs> I took them out for you. <laughs> you can't have those buttons. <laughs> That's okay. I'm doing pretty well. I'm in I'm I'm in the baby 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 steps of the game, but I haven't died. And it's been nearly two hours. Caverns of Click Down Side. Click Down. Oh, yeah. Clicks Down Side. Or Click Stone. Clicks Down. Okay. I know. So the name of this, this cave is a, a randomly generated one as well, right? Yeah. There's an enormous list of names for planets and everything else, and. Yep, you pick one. So they're always different. And I mean, you know, it's just a little flavor. It doesn't really... doesn't make any difference, I suppose, but... Just a little flavor flavor. You know. A, a cave within a cave. Captain, we must return to the ship! Yeah, this ain't gonna happen, Anson. Captain! Shut up and put your red shirt on. Get oh. <laughs> Oh, you're dead. By dead, you mean finding a new disease, which is always fun. Oh, so close. <gasps> wow, that never happens. Hi, bunny. Nope, come here, bunny. Nope, come here. Yep, come here. Nope, nope. Pet the bunny. Bunny lover! A <laughs> hundred grand added to pay it forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Bob. Let's pay it forward, though. So you gotta, You're welcome. You gotta die before <laughs> That's fine. We all know I'm gonna die. <laughs> well, you have uh, 19 minutes to die. Mm, I'm thinking I'm not gonna die. I'm just gonna continue this game. Maybe on YouTube. We'll see. Continue this on a stream. I love this game. Every time I pop into this game, I start playing it and then just get completely engrossed. Did we lose somebody or did somebody just talk? Well, uh, neither. Oh, I just heard a blue. <laughs> huh? Oh, that's your Steam, that's why. My Steam go off? Oh, yeah. Archimar, you better not have bought him another game. 
Hi, Lena Bunny. Lena Bunny. That's a cute name too. That's the cutest names. There was like cutesy and cuddles or something were in the chat before. <laughs> Cuddles. Cuddles. Like skittles. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. What are you? What? Translate, please. Um. Squiggly. Uh. Other squiggly line. Double E. Oh, you found one of those. Rocket. Um. I don't know. That does kind of look like a rocket from Hard Landers. Oh, Hardlander. <laughs> Are you gonna die? Are you gonna die? I don't think I'm gonna die. <laughs> Why would I die? And then you transported to La Mulana. <laughs> you gonna win this one? You gonna win? Yeah, I'm fine. What kind of disease you have, by the way? Uh, I didn't have one. Why are they all dying? Because I'm poisoned. Only four people died. Jeez. Only four. How many people have you killed? Not many. Can you sit, check and see how many people you killed? I can. Yeah, there's a button for that. Hit. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I want to find it. Uh, Stat screen. Um, where the heck it is in here? I know, it's probably near the bottom. 41! They're useless anyway, right? 41. Yeah, but 160 monsters killed. You have 84 fame and so, 1 infamy because you shot at the tentaculons! <laughs> I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> That's from killing a bunny. Oh! Jerk. <laughs> See, we knew it would come to haunt you. <laughs> I have an achievement for being a bunny uh, fanatic. Bunny so, lover. <laughs> that's what I'm going to How much with money originally. you get when you kill a hundred bunnies? <laughs> you should find out. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You owe a hundred thousand. <laughs> I don't know where you're going. Yeah. Oh, we should. No, you guys again? Come back here! Come back, we're just trying to say hi! Come, come back! Oh no! Apparently I just blew up Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> Virtual Witcher had somewhere to hide! <laughs> okay. When you get a thousand Ow. people killed, your name changes to Zap Brannigan. Doesn't that look like Zap Brannigan shit? Weapon safety. Hit S to activate weapon safety. Hmm. Ships good throughout the galaxy. Do not want to hurt. You, however, I, I shall. Booyah! Okay, now we're gonna work. To Sector 5! Is infested with insectoids. Kill them. You will receive coordinates upon arrival. Sounds like a plan! Phyraxian historical monument. Born before the tides of time were set upon their way. They knew the universe when small. They saw the blinding front. Though but a flash, they saw it pass and felt the cooling phase, protected from the matter wash, cocooned with timeless crusts. Interesting. So, can we ask Bob, or would you rather that it just comes up naturally when people play the game, uh, what the overall storyline is? Like, what the Firax... Firaxaginians? Firaxaginians. Firaxaginians are? Yeah, the, uh... You can call them Firax for short. It's a lot yeah. easier. But, um... You know, way back, way back in the beginning, I just did a blog post about this a while ago. Um, one of the original concepts for the game was the Firax. They're this, like, uh, really ancient and super powerful alien race that got, like, so, such amazing technology that they uh, basically turned themselves into gods and moved to another plane of existence. Wow. But for whatever reason, they're coming back into the universe now, and uh, they want all the stuff back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and uh, that's what the temples are, that's what the artifacts are, and oh, okay. uh, they will, they'll send you on quests to collect their stuff, and they're, they're totally aloof from everything that's going on, but yet, you know, they're amazingly powerful, and 
rich and intelligent and everything else, but uh, that's sort of their story. Um, huh. But most of the space stations you meet in the first part of the game are owned by a race called the Bankers. Yes. And uh, they are, they're not good guys. You know, you're, uh, they've basically decimated the entire galaxy with their greed. Um, they move into a sector of space and they start selling stuff to the highest bidder and pretty soon everybody's shooting each other to get the next greatest technology and you know they're they're not good guys but you have to work for them if you want to survive at least for a while hmm. um, and that's not immediately apparent but once you get into the game you start to understand that mm -hmm. um, one one quick question because uh, right now we're in the Firax um, <laughs> station so mm -hmm. we have a quest to find an artifact and sell it in their pawn shop so they'll teach us the power and then we get money and a cloaking device for the reward. Is that going to get rid of my artifact as well? Because I'm It will, it. yes. Okay. Yes. But I'm still going to do it. Because, well, I'll take the quest first. So the quest. Because that's cool. Yes. Yay. Do we need more like this? Yeah. Now I have a cloaking device. Oh yeah, and the shoes didn't kill you either. Oh, but if the cloaking device has no shield, but I can cloak. Interesting. It's a trade-off. Mm, we're gonna go with shields for now. That's cool. That is so cool. And now you can. You're on sector five, so that means you can um, hire. I did. Yes. So while we were chatting. Um, I hired Lisa Hicks. Uh, that's sorry. That's like Robotech and um, aliens just mashed up there. <laughs> it's funny. Yes, yes. <laughs> Got all the names from the, the last names of people from Aliens. They're in there. Yeah, you got Kane. Yeah, I got Kane. Hicks. It's <laughs> awesome. And Robotech. I was gonna wear a Robotech shirt tonight. I also awesome. was gonna. That's really weird. I. <laughs> I only from the old GameCube game. No, I, well, I never think. No one listen to Zathras. You are not the one. He's <laughs> not the one. Not the one. That is awesome. <laughs> uh, we can almost level up again. That's crazy. So we're gonna put Lisa Hicks on the away team as well. Then uh, she has a base of Oh me. This reduces enemy damage. By getting out of the way. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> I like that. There's nothing like listing lazily to the left. <laughs> Wham! I just also, so we had that weapon that like tripled our damage. I just like tripled it again. <laughs> Man, this guy knows some moves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Alright, Sector 5, and I mean. We're still taking our damage and taking our licks and that, but overall I feel like we're doing pretty damn good. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I want to build a summer home here, but the trees are quite lovely. <laughs> Please tell me you know that reference. I do not. Oh. Where's that from? <laughs> BDHS, so what was that artifact? I didn't say. He was like, oh, I had one of these when I was a kid. So I think Mar was right. I think we were just supposed to... Oh, yeah, it was Prince. Oh, oh, I saw the effect. It told you the effect of it. Did it? But, I mean, the artifacts are just artifacts. Yeah, it said you learned the impurpulator effect, which oh. is something you might find on a certain quest. But anyway. What are all those letters there? What letters? Oh, it's an engraver planet. Reveal the whole thing and find out. Pundits pass. Neat. Oh, get out of Oh, these are the insectoids I need to kill too. So that's just bajillion bonus misses. There's a cave on this planet though, so I'm gonna have to clear that out too. Oh. I wanna know what it says. Mm. Oh, we shall find <laughs> out, my friend. <laughs> you use that artifact a lot, but I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> In 
consequential. <laughs> Before oh, rest in that. peace, away team. Nope. <laughs> 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 oh boy. Time for diseases! Yeah, I'm never gonna make that. Huh! Their ah. courage was as great as their shirts were red. <laughs> so, does it go down? R H. Do we have to decipher this? M E. -F Only if you want to. I'm I'm searching. Or is it down? R E M H E F O I. Damn. Out of all the shirts, they chose red. H E F O I. H -H we gave them any choice. There are letters from the trees too. Letters from the tree. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see them either. Da -da 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 -da. So that's rich. E R S H E. Rich Birch. Rich Birch. Oh, I think that's the name of one of the backers. Oh, really? It is. We yeah, saw Rich, Rich Dersheimer. We saw one of the neat things um, when you log into the game. It's like the today's game was brought to you by, and then it has a person's name. And we were assuming that it was the backers. Yep. That's cool. I like that. And it's M E F R I. Maybe it's a D? No. Yeah, but those planets, I mean, there's so many different little messages you can find, like song lyrics and names of Star Trek characters and just ah. everything. Everything I ever thought. I could fit into 30 characters I did. <laughs> I love it. Stuck it in there. <clears throat> you thought of everything. I didn't. What? Rich Ursh Metric Whores Femur. <laughs> okay, in the cave. Oh, you. You again, I see. Oh, money. I like that. Ow. He bites wildly. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, they're blind. So they, they're kind of like that. They yeah. kind of just lash out at you. Oh, makes sense. An <laughs> oxygen replenisher. <laughs> Bitch, I can't see! <laughs> they all sound but like... But I'm hungry! <laughs> they all sound like Samuel Jackson. <laughs> I just picture Homer. Well, nobody's going to get this reference anymore because it's so old, but when he's eating the pie... Oh, I know you're yeah. at the stove pie. I'm just going to go like this. No. No, no. If you get eaten, it's your own fault. <laughs> oh, more gems. I have to save those for Sector 7. More cave? There's a cave in my cave. Boop. Yes, I'm poisoned. Or bleeding. Or just dying in general. Hmm. All the loot for me. Ow, ow. That was dumb. Oh. So again, for everybody that's just tuning in, this game is called Approaching Infinity. It's available for PC and Mac, and it is fully launched. And if you'd like the game for yourself, we're going to put a link in it, if uh, Giant would be so kind. 
Oh, you made me do And of course, you. there's a free <laughs> demo available also. You can mm -hmm. play seven sectors, which he hasn't even reached yet. So there's <laughs> a lot you can do <laughs> just with the demo. That's and that, that was not meant to be a dig towards you. That was just meant to be like no, not at all. A That's... lot of stuff that people can do. That's a lot of free. content in a demo. There's something else here. I'm going to try to get out of here. BDH says ten bucks. Says this away team never reaches the surface again. Seven hit points. And an almost insect says, I heard you like caves. We put a cave in your caves. You can cave in your cave. Campception. <laughs> Uh -oh. two. Based on your current oxygen, you can automatically descend a level two. You'd like to take the shortcut down? Yes. Blue? Well, we know that there's no diseases on this planet, so I'm not too worried about the oxygen. Right on <laughs> BDH. Oh, thanks for the demo talking person. I bought it because of that. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the guys that you've uh, um, published through. Both with the, the, the physical launch and like uh, the full demo where it's like the seven sectors. That is an old school game launch. Yeah, it really is. I, you know, I, I don't know. It's just great, I think. But I know it's it's also very, I don't know, it's not modern. You know, it's not, uh, it's very niche market and it's, I don't know, but mm -hmm. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. so. Well, you should be happy. This is awesome. BDH owes you 10 Dara. Because your away team survived. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, I accept a uh, debit, credit card, PayPal. <laughs> Steam games that he can't play. Steam games that he can't play. Wow, I found the forest planet. There was a thing in it, but I killed it. And you're poisoned. Are you I, right? Yeah, I, well. I'm always poisoned. That's like a constant state of being for my away team. Bunnies! Remember, kids, always pet your bunnies. Very prudent. <laughs> oh, okay. Listen to Riker? No! What? Oh, you died! You How? died! It says I still have hit points! Wow, that thing was hitting for 30 damage a shot. 10 are grand you, added to pay it forward. Are you done? I was killed! At 8.59. <laughs> we didn't even plan it. Jeez, I looked away for two friggin' seconds. <laughs> well, I ran right by the plant without seeing the plant. I was just in explore mode. It's my own bad. I should have gone a lot slower, so he got three bites on me. When I could have just easily killed him. Oh, well. That means I have 160 grand in my pay it forward, which is nice. Killed in Sector 5 by an environmental damage. Played for 7,000 turns, 225,000 credits, and 186,000 spent. Wow. Destroyed 17 ships, 205 monsters, and led 73 crew to their deaths. <laughs> I'm a monster! <laughs> he took the captain because I told him it was a good idea. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I been so... No, no, of course. But you know, the way that I would play this game normally, knowing that I could put the Cavs on my away team, I would anyway. Um, because you can level them up and get the skills faster. And yeah, and Kirk is always a better captain than Picard. <laughs> <laughs> You, Dude, you, don't wanna, you don't want to say that. I hope uh, my wife didn't hear that, to be honest. <laughs> uh, what else? Four quests, one artifact, allied with one race, and I was at war with another. A <laughs> hundred fame. I hit a hundred fame. And <clears throat> one infamy. <laughs> you know, we don't know anything about their race, history, or culture, but there's one thing for sure. They stand for everything that we stand against. <laughs> <laughs> Way team size. <laughs> In the game of chess, you can never let your opponent see your pieces. <laughs> oh god, terrible. So what Anyways, is this showing? Holy oh, crap. it's going through everything. That's all nice. the things. Holy all crap. the stuff. Sickly. Oh, these are all the achievements. Good lord. Oh, it says my captains are cowards. They never leave their ship willingly. 
<laughs> There's <laughs> my log. Next time you have to try harder to kill people. Because you only you didn't even get into the triple digits of killing your crew members. <laughs> Wait, it's 74 isn't enough? That's not enough? Last time you killed 131. 74 is like officially a calamity I but think as far as I'm newspapers sure go. I'm pretty you killed about 131. Mm. I think that's what it was. But I like this captain. He was like, <laughs> no, I got it, guys. Come on with me. No, I'm going to keep the gold shirt. You put on the red. <laughs> ah, so that's perfect timing. Um, because we're done the show. That's going to draw to a close anyway. Yep, yeah, that, uh, that was a whopping two hours right there. So what would you think, Giant? Think back 50-ish weeks <laughs> to last year when we first played Approaching Infinity on stream. And uh, what do you think of this game now, today, compared to then? How much stuff has been added is ridiculous. It had a lot of content back then, It had then a lot too. of content, but now it has a lot. Now it has an incredible amount of content. You could, like, it's a roguelike, so you could technically play for a couple hours and then just kind of die. And Dude! Come back later. I didn't or even... you just keep going and going and going. I didn't even beat the <sighs> demo. <laughs> I didn't even beat the demo tonight. If you want to talk about content, like, the game technically <laughs> didn't even start yet. That's ridiculous. That is unbelievable. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, the addition of the soundtrack, I find, really made the gameplay um, easier. I didn't even notice that the time was flying by, because everything feels a lot more seamless and smooth uh, compared to when we first played it in, like, Early beta or late alpha stage. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was sort of like a late alpha. And yeah. Was, yeah. <clears throat> That's amazing. Um, I, I wanted to thank you, Bob, for being on the show yet again. And uh, this will probably be our last show for approaching infinity, but it definitely won't be our last show with Bob. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, man. Um, I, this is probably all we need to say about this game here. Um, thank you guys so much. This was awesome. Mm -hmm. Time flew for me too. I'm glad. That's that's you know, a good sign. And this you... is a, it's a giant time suck. It really is, <laughs> in, a, in the best possible way. Like yeah. you look up, and half an hour is gone, and you're like, okay, whatever. Next, next, I'm going to the next planet, the next sector, whatever. <laughs> um, and then you die. And then Sorry. you die. And then you die. <laughs> you always die. Always die. But remember, you pay it forward and you won't mind dying all that much. Because I've got like 170 grand or something now that I can spend on my next ship. So that's cool. Only because you pet 100 bunnies. Yeah, remember to pet your bunnies, kids. Remember pet to pet your bunnies, bunnies and get diseases. Yeah. But <laughs> I think that's going to call it for us. Uh, so once again, thank you so much, Bob, for joining us. And um, thank you, Giant, for you know doing this shit with me for a year. And uh, me doing it with you for a year. Yeah, right on. You guys. Yeah. A whole year. I'm so <laughs> glad it's the three of us, too. <laughs> Cause, um, because it was the three of us that started this. So yeah. it's nice. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody that's watching. Because obviously we wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. And if you enjoy the show, make sure to hit that follow button. Uh, you can subscribe as well. Because the Indie Game Magazine always has really interesting giveaways that we do on the channel. Um, and other than that, thank you everybody from IGM. And I guess until next week, we'll uh, we'll see y'all soon. Much love. Have a good evening, you all. Is it over? Bye. Thanks, everybody. Is it over yet? <laughs>